was supposed to be a fantastic St. Patrick's Day skiing, full of fun, safety and sound skiing techniques, and then it all went terribly wrong. I'm Alf Bassett. You might remember me from films such as Film My Waxy Gash, a snowboard shop owner's story, and Run, Gimp Boy, Run! It all started on the lip of that slippery gash just above me. A group of snowboarders and skiers out for some Patrick's Day fun. A young lad called Chris Griffiths boarding for the first time. Just days away from his 30th birthday, enjoying time with his friends, and then it all turned to tragedy. Hazel Geary, Olympic brown medal contender from Watford, England, is first to take on the gash. Our first man on the scene, mountain hero, Robbie Ross, takes up the story. Three days ago, Wigan, flying down the field. You know, he's a, whoever knows he's a better snowboarder than a skier. He's heading himself okay. He got to this point just here. He decided to do a, a somewhat of 360 and let his head first into the ditch. Having seen Geary's gash guidance techniques, Christopher Squattington chances his arm. You can see from his shit technique that this was a piss poor idea in the first place. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Shame. You alright, Wig? This is the moment when you can smell the fear on the mountain. I turned him out to do it and then I saw he was going for it, but I didn't think he'd be able to miss that big wide gaping gash. Squattington is sucked into the gash like a ferret up a trouser leg. At that point we thought, okay, he could be in trouble, but we waited a good six seconds I believe. Then we run, we ran, we ran all the way up the hill. Robbie shows his true heroic streak. We found his head was three meters under the snow. You all right, pal? The situation was now becoming critical. His body temperature at this point had lost all the alcohol from the night before. Next man on the scene, nerd Mark Fever. Having known Chris for a number of years now, um, to be honest, it's staggering. He's lasted to nearly his 30th birthday. He really is one useless fucking idiot. <laughs> An eerie silence descends on the slopes as the first Peace Warden arrives. Yeah, they're going to try and get a shovel. Grant Court, fresh from a box of Nando's chicken, finally arrives on the scene. I was really worried, and then I found out it was Chris, so I wasn't that bothered, really. And then, near disaster, as a maverick, Dick, snowboarder, attempts to weasel in on the action. Wanker. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Meanwhile, inside the crevice. What? What the fuck? What is this English dick doing? I just had to rescue an English girl who had her head stuck in a fondue set. I hail from the Morocco. I wish he'd been seriously injured. Why are my lips not in sync with my voice? Tell that fucking imbecile to cover his mouth. Yeah, cover your mouth. Cover your mouth.
With the assistance of hero Robbie, the Peace Warden initiates the mountain rescue. I must still stick the pole in the snow like this. Ah, no, ah, no, 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 harder. Ah, ah, I'm in a hole. Finally, after several hours and 14 buckets of Nando's, Wigan is finally freed from his gas. Thank you! Oh, thank you for your help! Now remember kids, stay safe on the slopes and don't smoke crack. It all happened on this slippery gash above me. A group of uh, young snowboarders. Um, oh, fuck it, I've blown it. Um, really? I've blown it. You won't recognise me. My name's. Oh, fuck it. Hi, I'm Alf Bassett. You might recognise me from films such as. Film my sl. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Skiing off the top of that. Slippery gash ahead of me. Um, fuck it.